first, we are going to learn what numbers do we have in a clock. Starting with number one. This number one is on a pink flower shape. Number two. This number two is on a red rhombus. Number three. This number three is on an orange triangle. Number four. This number four is on a green square. Number five. This number five is on a dark green pentagon. Number six. This number six is on a blue hexagon. Number seven. This number seven is on a pink oval. Number eight. This number eight is on a red octagon. Number 9. This number 9 is on an orange trapezoid. Number 10. This number 10 is on a green diamond. Number 11. This number 11 is on a dark green rectangle. And finally, number 12. This number 12 is on a blue star. The face of the clock is where the numbers stay. In their special places every second of the day. Number 12 is at the top. And the 6 is at the bottom. Number 9 is on the left and number 3 is on the right. The other numbers are in between in a circle. Let's count again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There are at least two hands. The short one is the hour hand and it moves very slowly. It takes one whole hour to just go from one number to another. The long hand is the minute hand. It moves a little faster. Every five minutes it goes one number ahead. Now I want to teach you a cool trick to help you read the time. When you see the minute hand pointed straight at the top on number 12, say the word o'clock. Next, check the number that the hour hand points to and put that number with o'clock. Let's try a few examples. 1 o'clock Two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock. 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, and 12 o'clock.
Good job! One whole hour has 60 minutes. One whole hour, 60 minutes in it. Half an hour has only 30 minutes in it. 30 minutes. When the minute hand is on number 6 hanging upside down, the short hand will be somewhere in between two numbers. Whichever of the numbers the hour hand has just passed is the one you say out loud with the 30 at last. Let's try a few examples. The hour hand has just passed number 1. And the minute hand pointing to number 6. So it's 30 minutes. We read this as 1, 30. 2, 30. 3, 30. 4, 30. 5, 30. 6, 30. 6.30 hand has just passed number 7, so it's 7, and the minute hand is pointing to number 6, which is 30 minutes. So we read this as 11.30 and 12.30 Great job! The clock face is divided into four equal sections. If the minute hand goes just a quarter, it's going to point to number 3. It's a quarter or 15 minutes. The number of the quarter is 15. Let's see a few examples. The hour hand has just passed number 1. So it's 1. And the minute hand is pointing to number 3, which is 15 minutes. So it's 1, 15. The hour hand just passed number 2, so it's 215 315 Seven fifteen, eight fifteen, nine fifteen, ten fifteen, eleven fifteen. And 12.15. Great job! Can you read this one more time? It's 1 o'clock. Now each number adds 5 minutes to the minute hand. Let's try a few examples. When the minute hand goes 1 number, it adds 5 minutes to 1 o'clock. So it's 1.05. When it goes to number 2, it adds 5 more minutes to 105, so it's 110. 115. 120. 125. Now let's change the hour minutes position as well. 
225 230 235 435 440 445 The hour hand just passed number 5 so it's 545 550 650 750 755 8 o'clock Each of these little tick marks is 1 minute and we have whole 60 minutes so if my minute hand is pointing to the very first tick mark it's one minute 801 802 803 804 and 805 and it continues for another whole hour Now let's practice a few examples. I'm going to change the clock and then you read it for me. What time is it? Great job, 10 o'clock. What about now? Excellent, 10.15. Can you read this one? Great job! 1.30 1.30 What about now? Yep, correct! 1.40 Can you read this one? Excellent! 345 Can you read this one for me? 455 Because the hour hand has just passed number 4 But it hasn't reached number 5 yet What time it is now? Six o'clock. Ten o'clock. Eleven fifteen. Eleven thirty. Eleven forty five. And 12 o'clock. Great job! Thank you so much for tagging along with me to learn about timing and reading the clocks. You did an excellent job! Come back again for the next video. Bye!